Hi, this is Russ Anderson. Today we're going to take a look at some of the new supervised tracking capabilities made possible in 2011, including using the Simultrack window. So here we're going to start out with a already tracked, uh, auto-tracked shot, just because it makes some of the things that we're going to show easier to demonstrate. And let's open up a viewport configuration that puts a Simultrack view down at the bottom. So our initial shot here you know, has this, this open area in the middle that doesn't have any automatically generated features in it because it, uh, you know, it's a fairly low contrast area. So our task is to add some more supervised trackers into that area. So let's start out just by creating a supervised tracker out in that area. And now we're going to go and configure the tracker. So we're going to generate a keyframe automatically every 12 frames and we're going to smooth the intermediate frames between keys so that all of the intermediate frames are going to get keyed. And this, this setup is based on the existing care and feeding of supervised tracking or trackers uh, tutorial on the website. We'll take a look over here on the tracker menu and there are a few more things that are added to this menu in 2011 and we're going to be using this uh, auto generate feature and also the smooth after keying uh, feature as well. So those are turned on here. So let's just start out uh, and click go and we're going to let the tracker run through the shot and you'll see that we've created new keyframes every uh, 12 frames throughout the shot and you'll see that there are the figure of merit curves there as well. So I could go and start dragging any of these individual intermediate tiles that I don't like and as you, you see as I do that all the rest of the figure of merit uh, curves will adjust automatically based on that uh, change in the uh, one particular key. And that's because of that uh, setting over here that we want to smooth all the, the adjacent frames when we change a key. So that's uh, one possible mode of uh, using the Simultrack view for supervised tracking. You can run through, we can see all the keys, we can adjust them. We can also start doing this, which is to open up the gutter area between the tiles and now this lets us take a look at all the intermediate frames as well. You'll see there's no rim around them because there's no key. I can start dragging any of them and uh, you know, add a key there. I'm just canceling that. So that gives you a quick look at uh, what's going on in there. There's also a new strobe mode that lets you quickly switch back and forth between the previous keyframe and the following keyframe along with the actual image on that particular frame. So I can go and move that around and I'll open up the following gutter again. You know, if you see a picture like this, it's hopping back and forth a lot between those three different frames. That means that there's a problem on that frame. It's it's not a stable image, and you're expecting to see basically the same image, you know, for that previous key, for the following key, and for any of the individual keys. So I can actually go and you know, turn this on for any of the individual key, uh, in any any of the individual frames. I'll remove that erroneous key there, and you know, as I do that, there, uh, you know, those guys all snap back and you see you can see some of the background noise changing around a little bit but basically all of those are lined up pretty well. So that's some of the uh, functionality in that Simultrack view that you can take advantage of. Now let's do something else. We'll go back to the beginning of the shot and we're going to drop down our first key on this feature here and now we're going to go to the end of the shot. Now there's no, uh, that makes the tracker disappear Synthize doesn't know where to put the uh, tracker in the shot at all. So we're going to use the Z drop feature, which means we hold down the Z key and just click right at that feature. 
and uh, start positioning the tracker. And as we do that, you'll see all of a sudden we have all these intermediate keyframes as well. And that is a result of this auto generation process. And what it's saying is that we should use the 3D position that's predicted as a result of that first frame and the, the second keyframe that, that we added to that tracker to find the best 3D location for the tracker and use that 3D location to predict where it should be in all those other keyframes. So it's quickly gone and generated a bunch of those keyframes so that we can go and adjust them just using the simultrack view. And you notice that this trick only works if we've already solved the shot. That's why we saw, you know, we started with an already auto tracked shot. So this this particular capability is useful once you have an initial solve for the shot. It lets you go and add additional supervised trackers using this mode. And you can then just quickly take a look at the keys. Once they look okay, now you can go back to the beginning of the shot and just have Synthize run through and generate the tracking data for all the intermediate frames, which it's doing now. And uh, now you've got a supervised tracker. So those are some of the new workflows that are possible with the Simultrack feature in Synthize and the new supervised tracking faci facilities. So I uh, hope those help you out. Enjoy.